What is up everybody? It's your boy King Cat back at you with another video. Okay, so I only got one comment on my last video. So we will be choosing the fire type Scunberry. If you guys want, let me know in the comments below and we will do some trading. I would love to have the water type on my team. So just remember that guys. Uh, yes, I want to choose the fire type. It's dynamite. The fire type. I don't want a nickname. It's fun. I will really need a new seat. It makes noise to see. So, that's my new Pokemon. So, it will be Sconeberry Bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Groki, you're fine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Oh, that's so... That's so cute. Oh. Ah. So why... That's why I brought along this Pokemon for you and King Cap, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind too. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Come along, your Pokemon, and let's all eat. Bring your Pokemon, and let's all eat. Okay, that's how we do it in these neck of the woods. The next day. You spent the whole night with your new partner of yours. With that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting all on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee! King Cabs made fast friends with this scoreberry squ bunny too. Then listen up, new traders. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even be worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What you look? What you looking at? Him for Lee? I'm the one who you'll be coming. Who will be coming to challenge you? If you think King Cat might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning on losing to him. Miss out on my chance. I'm messing up the woods. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be fat first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper Pokemon? Proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a Pokemon battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say, willing? and ready to take hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Oh heck yes! Believe in your po Pokemon partner, partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm saying you'll learn you'll learn to choose the moves that suit you. 
and more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. It's TNT. It's Dynamite. <laughs> oh, I forgot who's that. I've watched every match that these ever had. I've even read, I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Oh, you do, Mr. Hop. He's got two partners. Woohoo! Okay, guys. So, this is the first battle. You only start off with Tackle and Growl. A lot different than a couple of the battles. But we'll just start off with you uh, continuously using Tackle. Nothing can go wrong if you just keep using the move Tackle, can it? And this is the first ever Pokemon game that your rival has two Pokemon from the get-go. So, but you gain one level here. So, okay, my Scunberry, Scoreberry Bunny is going to be a physical attacking type Pokemon right now. I'll be off camera, I'll be training up and all that. That's not over yet! Go! Grokey! Yeah, I used Grokey my first battle, and he was actually a pretty good Pokemon. I need to get another Switch so after I do it this way, I can go back through and battle more. So I'll be looking out for moves that will benefit my uh, Skull Bunny because, well, the special attack's not too far away, so I guess it's not that bad to have a, at least one special attack move just in case. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that Skull Bunny are too much. Okay, okay. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now know why we thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Maybe me. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on the front. Good effort out there, Scornberry Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? Okay, guys. Still going. And King Cap, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop when you push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gym. You join the Gym Challenge? You think you are ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash their little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend King Cat. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn a lot, lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. 
but it's more important than just the collection of data. You know, it's a record of trainers' love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is... We get it, Pokedex is... Then, we're on it. Let's... Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, King Cab. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professional to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better get up, go tell your mom, mum, that you're heading out now. But I want to already go train. Crash! Ooh, King Cap, did you hear that just now? Ooh, ooh, the gates open, and the Wulu that was there. Ooh. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Yeah, I really think it might have broke through. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state, and that was nothing compared to the info she got from the professor afterwards. King Cab, what do you say? We've got to save it. Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you, you're ready for anything because we're going in, King Cab. Okay. Just got my Pokemon. I'm on my way to being the champion. And it's quite alright to be in a champ. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming in thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Okay, so... As I'm in here, I will battle against some Pokemon so I can level up my team, my Stoneberry. Do I have an idea for a team I want to use? I, like I said, I have played uh, Shield, Sword. So, we will just keep on doing what we can. And I will look for Pokemon that I haven't used. So, if you guys have an idea of a Pokemon you want me to add to my team, just let me know in the comments below. the Pokemon. We'll try Ember, see how this does against this play. I did use Wokadi in my gameplay, my own personal one, so I'll pro I probably won't use him a second time because obviously I try to choose a different team each time I play a game. Like my Pokemon Yellow game is a different uh, team than the very first time I've ever played. Of course I'll choose like the starter Pokemon, but each Pokemon I choose is a completely different Pokemon. Well main Pokemon. So... Let's see how Ember does. So just under... Yeah, it does about the same. 
I think it's because Ember is a stab move, which if you guys are new to the stab move, it is a, a stab move is the same type as the Pokemon. So battle anymore. Come on, King Cab, that movie might be in real trouble. Watch this. Look how thick the fog gets so quick. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I got now get now why this place is off limits. Tried, guys. That's see. I should have made this my main game because I like him. <laughs> the move had no effect on it. Yeah, obviously. Spell has no effect. Yes, I'm okay. Come on. E I can barely make out my Pokemon. And the weird Pokemon mist guy. Now I can't see a thing. Oh, what the? What the what the? <laughs> Hop, King Cat. What, Lee? How do you manage to find out your way in here? Your pants, pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We we are we're trying to rescue that Wulu. The little chap's just fine. Though all you had, all of you had fainted by the time I found you there. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it looks, it took courage to come in all the work thing. And I can't understand why, well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. <laughs> I don't know why it, his accent keeps, like, messing up. And at least that wound is alright. Yeah, King Cab? I thought we'd had it when that would, we'd had it when that wood fog started warming in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are y'all talking about, huh? It seemed loads stranger strong loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves did, didn't even touch it, I mean really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world of, world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to ravel the truth someday. 
For now, let's simply get out of this place, y'all. Be all right now that I'm here with ya. Yeah! Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This made this also make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. See, this one is all about the legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to wedge rehearse now. She'll go spill if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Okay, let's go talk to mom. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> well, now it's Scunberry, just as isn't Squ Squ Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from Young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Red's hurts, aren't ya? Yes, mom. Pocket money, buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Scrone Bunny will battle to the very end for you. I know. So don't you go pushing the Ford Dare too hard. <laughs> and you, Scrone Bunny, look after my little King Cab. Come home to the West anytime that you need. After all, East to West, home is best. Oh, Mom, you're such a person. <laughs> okay. We are on our way to the next town. Oh, we're gonna get stopped right here. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards beco becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Pokey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get to that building with the purple roof and the great red and white bell ball marked out on front. That's the Pokemon research lab. Okay. Can I just go straight or yep, I cannot just go straight. So we will train. Squalvit. Okay, um, we will use Tackle on him. Until I can get a stronger move. Fire move. So like I said, it has stabs. It has a stab effect. Fire type move. With my skull bunny. And so far I'm liking my spawn bunny. He's actually doing a very good job at, you know, battle. Well, a eh? not even a level eight yet. Okay, okay. Oh, and off camera, I'll probably catch a wild Pokemon. So, that's something to look forward to. Allows me to train up a little more. Unless you guys want to see me do like other things. Let's see how this is. Like if you want to see me like redo this, but with like no new moves or stuff like that. Or just one Pokemon. Just leave it in the comments. Okay, castle. We are going to work on the next to get to the next uh, place so I do not die ooh quick attack 
I think quick attack is stronger than uh Tackle. Whoops, my Tackle 40. Oh no, the exact same. Okay. Okay, now let's go. Let's the champion's Charizard. Now let's go on up here. No, I want to heal. Okay, I guess we'll go and do this. And after this, we will call it a day. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Grrr. <laughs> Charizard. Ah, oh, such a ham. I've got to give it to Professor Mongolia. Everything here looks fantastic. Bow wow. Bow wow. See, in my personal file, I caught that Pokemon, but I never evolved him. Because I got a different electric Pokemon that I wanted to use. So, that might be coming. Looking for info on another never before seen strong Pokemon. Super strong Pokemon. I wish you'd stop with those outlandish requests. You know, this would be a game that they could make like a, no, a part two, kind of like a blue, yellow, and red with a gold and silver, that type of thing. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. You came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day. When I got lost on the road. <laughs> oh yeah. And that's his trainer, Sonora. What can I say about Sonora? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just the Yampa helping you out. I did too. Anyways, nice to meet you. Name's Sonora. I'm the professor's assistant. Listen, King Cab. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would ya? <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Wodum phone. Hey there, Wodum. <laughs> Wodum phones are highly handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigation too. I remember when Wodum's was a legendary and you only got them when you met certain circumstances back in uh, Generation 4. That was 10 years ago. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yeah... Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Odom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down the down along Route 2. 
yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a po Pokedex, yeah? I love taking it. Talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. I just got a ocean potion. Okay. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, the hit points get low. HP is like Pokemon stamina or hit points. You can even use po potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's good. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Okay. They say that because you can get a lot of different things within the game. But okay, guys. Uh, got your Pokemon. Then it's time to meet lots of Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling other trainers can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Center. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same everywhere you go. Come on, King Cat, but you've never been inside. Level with me, King Cat. Is this your first time? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already on you. Okay. I'm just trying to speed this up. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to do it. I'm going to heal up my Scorn Bunny and kind of look around the grass and buy uh, Pokeballs. So I can uh, get a team together. Oh, I can't buy Pokemon just yet. Okay, but I am still going to look around and probably train up my Scone Bunny a little bit. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.